All right, in this video, we're going to do a quick review of differences of squares. Now, here we've got two binomials that are exactly the same, except one is a plus in the middle and one's negative in the middle, or minus in the middle. So what happens if we FOIL these out? Well, we're going to get first, it's going to give me x squared, x times x. Okay, since they're the same, I get a, a perfect square of x times x. The outsides are going to be x times negative 7 is negative 7x. The inside is going to give me positive 7 times x. And the last are going to be 7 times 7, except it's actually positive 7 times negative 7. So that's negative 49, and that's what the lasts are. So what happens here, you can see, is that we end up having a negative 7 and positive 7 that cancel out. And we end up with x squared, which was x squared, basically. And then the last term is 7 times 7, so 7 squared, so minus 49. So we end up with a difference of squares, perfect square minus perfect square. Okay, and it always happens when you multiply a binomial times its sort of opposite. It's actually, those two binomials are actually called conjugates of one another. All right, so when it comes to factoring, if you encounter a binomial, that is a difference of two squares here, for example, perfect square, perfect square, and a difference in the middle, then you know that you must have had two binomials that are exactly the same, x times x, 10 times 10 gives you the end, one of them will be plus and one of them is going to be minus. Okay, so difference of squares are usually very easy to, to deal with. For b down here, this is a difference of squares because 49x squared is a perfect square of 7x and 25 is 5 times 5 or 5 squared, 1's plus, 1's minus. For c, x squared minus 4, it's a difference of squares because we have x times x or x squared and we've got 2 times 2 or 2 squared gives me 4. One of them's plus, one of them's minus. It doesn't matter which one goes first. So the next one here, we wouldn't typically um, call a difference of squares because that's seven is really not a perfect square that's like nice to work with. Okay, so we would just tend to leave it. But uh, just for kicks here, we could Think of this as a difference of squares, because uh, x times x is x squared, so we know that's going to go first. Well, what times what, or what squared would give you 7? Well, square root of 7. Square root of 7 times itself would give you 7. So that's kind of, we could split that one up, but that's not overly useful in uh, a lot of applications, but it could be done. All right. For e, you might feel like this one f factors somehow, but there's nothing you can do with this one because this is not a difference of squares. So this cannot be simplified. Okay. And for f, uh, we could factor it right now as a difference of squares, but let's kind of go through uh, the standardized way of doing these, these questions. That is, before we start this one, um, and, and there's, there's reasons for this as we'll see throughout the year that'll make it easier for us, is that if we rewrite this thing, there's x squared term, that should be first. So I'm going to rewrite this thing with a negative, oh, negative 9 x squared first. So we're just reordering the terms. And since that's a positive 25 plus 25. So we're going to reorder it that way. Okay, next we're going to take out the leading negative, okay, because that's something that we should always do, be, you know, if we're writing something in factored form. So if I divide a negative one out of each term and put it out front, I'd be left with positive nine x squared minus twenty-five and negative one, and then nine x squared minus twenty-five is a perfect square of three x times three x. And five is five times, or twenty-five is five times five, and one of them is plus, and one of them is minus. So this 
way of writing this answer is, is preferable. Had you looked at this and went, oh, it's already a difference of squares. 25 is 5 times 5, and 9x is 3 times 3. That's OK, but uh, we're going to find it uh, better to, to, to write it in that standardized way so that the x terms are first.